not a whole lot of flat ground here, so I'm thinking I'm going to uh, set the, the tent up around here and uh, see how that goes. See how it works. Do a little walk up here now, and we will show you what I had to work with in terms of resources for firewood. I do have some dry stuff here that I can indeed crack off for for firewood if I need it. But I like to have some hardier, larger pieces to keep me warm for the night. You don't want to be going back and forth all the time chopping down wood. You want to be able to relax and have your fire going with some nice large pieces to put on it. So that is my goal. It just rained a lot last night, so the bike ride in, it was extra damp. The trails were really wet in places, lots of puddles. We managed to get in though. And like I was saying about the uh, NCM bike earlier, I mean, I've had it for three or four years now. Um, I've had a couple of minor issues, like I said, the derailleur, a couple of flat tires. But once you learn the uh, capabilities, it's not an off-road bike. So if you're bringing it up in terrain like this, you want to make sure that you're you're careful that you're not riding too fast over the uh, you know larger rocks and that. And ever since I've been doing that, like 60 straight days back and forth now to work, almost 750, 760 kilometers. So it's pretty reliable. Turn that around there for a sec. All right, so uh, just up this way, I was scouting out trying to find a place to find some good firewood. So up here, I think I got a couple of uh, good pieces of wood that I can take back. Then, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking it's time for some food. Get a campfire going. All right, here we go.
To tell you the truth, right now I'm pretty beat. So uh, what I gotta do, I gotta cut up that firewood, and then I gotta get a fire going, and then hopefully after that then I can kinda finally start to kick back and uh, relax for a little bit. And uh, you know, I got my little bush shelter tent put up. It's the first time that I set it up, so uh, <laughs> Let's just say that I could have set it up a little bit better, but uh, this is my first time out and uh, believe it or not, this is, you know, it's really cool to be able to do this. I mean, we're looking at now uh, mid-December and to be able to come up now and do, a, do an overnight like this and to be able to do some camping is quite awesome. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be checking back in and you guys can watch me do a bit of firewood cutting and then after that, it'll be time for some supper. down now and have a, oh, just have a, something to drink and just come kick back. Beautiful spot though, ain't it? So as you can see here, uh, 
So Boyka came up on it. I took all my gear in a, uh, I guess it was an 80 liter backpack. And uh, I thought an 80 liter backpack was going to be plenty big for uh, coming up on the trip, but uh, I could probably do with a 100 liter one to tell you the truth by the time you got your camera gear and your food and sleeping bag and tent and everything else. But all the same, who can beat this? I mean, just look at the, the pond out there behind me. It's awesome. Of course, this time of year now, you can't do any trouting. But uh, that's my plan, is to uh, come back up here again, probably later on uh, February or so, when the uh, you're allowed to do a bit of ice fishing, and uh, maybe do another overnighter. But uh, anyway, I guess I can kind of talk a little bit about my YouTube channel. So, uh, you know, I guess that you, you kind of figure out as you're getting a bit older that uh, you should always do stuff that you enjoy and uh, you're never too old to start something new. So that's what I'm trying to teach my, uh, my own kids. And uh, yeah, actually my family have been the one that encouraged me to do this. Uh, I'm always a fan of watching uh, camping videos and uh, some survival shows and that. And uh, finally one day I was there watching a bit of TV and uh, my wife said, sure, why don't you just make a couple of your own videos? And I was like, all right, that sounds like uh, that sounds like something I just might, uh, <laughs> I just might get into. So anyway, uh, around a couple of dollars later and a little while later, here I am now on my first trip. And uh, after the initial, I guess, just sort of uh, exertion of getting in here, I'm just gonna kick back now and uh, like I say, enjoy this uh, can of Coke and uh, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. I'm just going to enjoy the scenery for a while. Sure, I got a good shot there. All right, so there definitely are a couple things that I forgot in my, uh, you know, this is my first video that I'm making. So when I was getting ready to come up, one of the things that I had was a battery pack, charger sort of thing, because I needed a power bank, I guess you call it, because I want to be able to, I wanted to be able to charge my phone up a couple of times because I have a, a key mission, which is kind of like a GoPro. And I also had the, uh, um, my regular uh, Canon Rebel camera that I'm filming on right now. But I was hoping to be able to film a lot more on my phone. And of course my phone, outside of being a, another camera, I also want to be able to make a phone call out just to let my wife and kids know that I'm up here having fun and uh, you know that everything is cool or if there was some sort of a need for it that if I had to make an emergency call or something so I got the phone turned off there now for just for those reasons so I'm actually starting to have a little bit of fun here now uh, that's one thing I didn't realize was how hard it was going to be to do the filming aspect of uh, making one of these videos. And I 
love riding my bike. I love camping. I love hiking. I love trouting, fishing, all that sort of stuff. And uh, I'm getting into and enjoying now a little bit of, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it filmmaking, but just getting into like shooting some videos, GoPro, that sort of thing, or key mission videos, I should say. And uh, yeah, it's all a learning curve, but it's all uh, like new hobbies, like I was saying earlier. You're never too old uh, to start doing something new. Another thing that I forgot here is today as well was uh, some paper or something, so. And it's not very much birch bark or anything around here, but anyway, I'm going to try to get this going here now shortly. I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, then it'll be, it's going to be really nice to cook up then. I got a steak and some potato, some salmon and some fish too. I don't know if I'm going to eat all that though. Better, uh, better prepared than have too much, I suppose, and not enough. So anyway, I'm just going to keep going at this here now. And, Get a fire going. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Kind of seeming a bit Christmassy here now with the uh, little bit of snow coming down. And we are only actually like nine days away from Christmas, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I'm not gonna lie if I uh, if I told you guys that was an easy fire to start with no paper and stuff it took me a lot longer than what I thought but uh, at least now I can relax a bit I got the fire going and I got more dry wood just uh, down the trail there so my plan now is uh, to actually get some food going so you guys can watch me as I cook up something and uh, it's gonna taste pretty good right about now oh, just that a bit there we go all right, let's get something cooking here. So I'm going to use a little burner that I picked up. Put on now some 
uh, pork, uh, sorry, lamb, <laughs> pork. We'll put on some lamb. And at this point in time now, uh, I gotta check the time. I imagine now it's probably around four o'clock or so, it's starting to get uh, dark. It's dark pretty early now this time of year. Just gonna put the pork chops, uh, sorry, the lamb chops on there for now. And I'm gonna put the potato over by the fire. Now the fire at this point in time is higher than what I intended, but at this point in time, I'm just glad that the fire is going. So I'm gonna get the potatoes going over there. And continue to, uh, at this point in time now, just relax now that I got the fire going on that and uh, enjoy some, uh, some campfire time. I had to put the uh, lid on that too, I think, to uh, keep the heat in it. If worse comes to worse, if that little uh, butane, if I run out of the uh, gas and butane canister, I can always use that uh, cook over. I got a little grill over there to cook on that, so it'll work out. Onions on the go here now. Like I said, this is the first time I ever filmed being out doing some camping. I'm going to get a lot better at the filming aspect of it all. And by no means, I'm a camping enthusiast, but definitely got a lot to learn when it comes to, uh, you know, just being out and about and being able to enjoy yourself and uh, be safe and have fun at the same time. So that's what it's all about. So one big thing here is tonight I made sure I let, you know, people know where I was going to what time I was going to be back. And as I was saying earlier, I also got my cell phone that handy as well, so I can make a call. There is a signal here. I'm just going to let that cook on kind of like a low, low heat for a while, and I'm going to come over by the campfire. I'm going to get you guys to join me. Now sit back and just have a soda and just enjoy now as the uh, as the sun's uh, going down here. Move on over here by the campfire. So let that cook there. We're gonna come over here now by the, by the campfire. So campfire, like I said, I wanted to make sure the fire was caught. So I got more wood on there than what I probably normally would do, but I wouldn't want to be out here on an overnight camp trip and not have not have a good fire to keep you warm, so. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Yeah, it's really nice to be able to uh, come out and do this for sure.
So uh, just gonna make a phone call here now. Well, it's early in the night. Just to check in with the uh, the family. I've got a nine-year-old and a six-year-old at home. So uh, just let them know that uh, I'm up here and settling in. They're looking forward now to me putting a video together for this camping trip. So tell you the truth, I'm quite excited too to get home and uh, well, you know, when I actually get home, I'm excited to get this all put together. <clears throat> Water is pretty cold when you're <laughs> washing your hands there. Wouldn't want to uh, go swimming there tonight, that's for sure. I see another two or three weeks now. You're looking at the uh, at the water freezing over. You'll have the, uh, the ice fishing going on. pretty good there now so I just have some onions and some uh, some lamb chops I guess you could say and anyway this point in time they definitely smell pretty good I uh, as I mentioned earlier I left the house around 11 o'clock so I had breakfast nine or so and uh, it took me a while to get everything packed up and ready to go so the last time I ate was nine so this lamb and I got a potato cooking over there in the fire and after all day a couple of uh, you know a couple of obstacles I guess if you will to trying to uh, get everything set up and that 
lot of learning curves with the camera gear. And uh, we had some trouble trying to get the fire going too. We had, uh, like I said, I forgot to take any paper net with me. So I actually used a little butane stove there to help me get the fire going. And now that it's going, I'm feeling good now. You feel safe once the fire is going and you know you're gonna keep warm all night. Got the little tent set up. So yeah, it's kind of nice now. I kind of relaxed for a while. Just take it all in. Just smell it. Alright, so uh, basically I'm going to call it a night now. Uh, it's a little bit earlier than what I expected to actually call it a night, but uh, by the time I ate supper and uh, just kind of cleaned everything up and I had to go grab some more firewood, uh, I'm just beat. So I think that's what I'm going to do, just go get a good night's sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, I think I'm going to just uh, cook breakfast, have a cup of coffee, and uh, probably go on a little hike. So uh, we'll talk to you in the morning. Okay. off here. Oh, that's better. All right, so uh, anyway, I called in the night, and uh, I'm just here in the bushcraft tent right now. Uh, it's first time I set it up, so it's not that bad, actually. I'm definitely going to be able to get a good night's sleep here, but I definitely got to uh, practice setting it up a little bit better. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys in the morning. Like I said, looking forward to doing breakfast and doing a bit of a hike. Uh, so we'll see you later, and uh, like I said, it was a good first outing and hopefully I'm going to have uh, lots more and make a few videos and just have a bit of fun creating a YouTube channel. Okay, thanks for uh, joining me so far. Bye. What's up? So, uh, lots of fun last night. Cooked up my supper, slept, wasn't too bad, but uh, I'm not going to lie, when I woke up this morning 
everything was pretty it was starting to rain so it had snowed a bit last night so uh i never filmed anything when i got up i simply just uh got up packed everything together as best i could and now i'm just heading out and uh, anyway it was lots of fun and i'm definitely looking forward to uh doing another one i definitely learned from a few mistakes but uh we're going to do it again pretty soon it's pretty neat